Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're checking out MPOW's X6 Hybrid ANC earbuds. I cannot wait to check these out. The X6s are a really stunning looking earbud with their subtle blue coloring and their gold accents. They just look really cool. And they're also excellently shaped. Even though they're kind of a large barrel shaped bud, they do have a short neck that doesn't really fit too deeply in my ears. And that's something that you know I really like. They're super comfortable and they're really very stable as well due to the shape of the earbuds and how it rests on your ear. Now the X6 do appear to have about one centimeter of depth from the bud to the end of the ear tip on the medium tips, but they just sit in my ears. Somehow Empow managed to really seriously reduce any occlusion while wearing them and they still manage to block a lot of sound passively. It's really pretty impressive. I actually really enjoy wearing the X6 earbuds. Now the case is small enough to fit in my fifth pocket of my jeans and it's really well constructed. I can put it in those jeans, you know, the fifth pocket of those jeans, but it is gonna bulge a little bit, but it does fit. So gauge it from that perspective that it does fit. Now the magnets in the case are very strong. You snap these buds in and they, I never have an issue getting them to charge. They just go in and they work on charging. But here's something I gotta note on the X6s. Damn, these are hard to get out of the case, man. All I can suggest is maybe you've gotta shake these like a pack of cigarettes, just pop them out into your hand because it is really tough to grasp them. And they're deep in there, man. Now that case charges via USB-C and wirelessly. It's got two lights that indicate the charge status. Now the two lights will flash white when the case is charging whether it's via cable or wirelessly. And then each light will flash blue when it is charging its corresponding earbud. And that blue light will go out when the bud is fully charged, either the left or the right, the left or the right light will go out. And that battery lasts a reasonable five hours per charge. And then you get an additional 25 for a total of 30 when you use the case. Now these buds have AAC and SBC codec support. Plus they have a low latency mode, which is selectable via the touch controls. So these earbuds are actually really great for watching videos without any lag, but you can check out my latency tests on the X6s here. This is low latency mode on. This is low latency mode off. Okay, so despite those latency test scores, I did use the X6 to play a bunch of mobile games with the low latency mode on. And yeah, there is some delay, but I gotta tell you that the sound stage on these, the 3D imaging, front, back, left, right, center, on these is excellent. And overall, I think most people would really enjoy using these for gaming, even though I don't think it's a perfect experience. Now their Bluetooth connectivity and their range is pretty solid. They connect really fast as soon as you open the case. And when you connect your earbuds, when you open the case, they're gonna be connected by the time you get them into your ears. And there's almost no delay switching from mono mode to stereo mode or vice versa. No sound, no interruption, nothing, it just works. And that Bluetooth range is about 79 feet as I measure it. Okay, and that mono mode that I mentioned earlier is a true mono mode, meaning you can hear both the left and the right uh, stereo soundtrack in one ear when you're using them in mono mode. Now at the time of me recording this video, I could not find an IPX rating for the earbuds. If I find it out, I will post. Talk about live updates here. These are an IPX6 rated earbud, so feel free to sweat and work out in these or get them wet in the rain, no problem. Now the touch controls are pretty excellent on these. 
They control everything, and that includes volume, it includes voice assistant, it includes play, pause, previous, next track, ANC, ambient mode, ANC off, and that low latency mode. Touch controls, MPOW, they've done it right, they just got it right, they just work, and you can count on the, on the quality of the MPOW X6s from that perspective. But the volume on the X6s comes in at about 100 decibels, which is really loud, certainly not as loud as some other earbuds on the market, but it is definitely loud enough to, you know, blow your hearing out over time. So be careful out there. Now let's discuss the sound quality. Now the MPOW has historically done a great job, in my opinion, and the X6 is no exception. Just what you'd expect, right, from MPOW? This is definitely a bass lover's earbud. I mean, listen to Sally Walker by Iggy Azalea for 30 seconds and you will 100% agree with me. I love the sound coming out of the X6s. But let's get beyond the bass. Let's talk about the mids, the vocals, the high frequencies. MPOW did a good job with these. I believe they just boosted them just about right, plus they added a super sound stage on these given the shape of these earbuds. So it's a really impressive package for sound quality, in my opinion, for this like $50 price point. And I would definitely, definitely put these up against my favorite buds from 2020 and expect them to absolutely crack the top five at this price point. Now, if you're into ANC, the ANC on the X6s is really pretty impressive. I uh, use these at my daughter's swim meet and I was actually super impressed with how much of the echo in that pool that was being canceled out, how much of the bass reduction from the music it was blowing out of the water, and all the sounds from the pool itself. These are significantly better from an ANC perspective than say the AirFun Free Pros or the Phil T1X Pros, and the ambient mode is also really good. So you don't get much white noise and it is subtle enough but strong enough that you'd be able to use it pretty regularly. One final note on ANC. I do think that it's good enough to listen to music with it on if there's some actual noise in the background that you're trying to block out. If it's quiet, don't bother to turn on the ANC on these. Like I don't think that it is a good choice to turn the ANC on these when it's absolutely quiet around you. There is just ever, ever, ever so slightly some kind of an electronic noise that comes out of the right earbud that would bother me a little bit in super quiet environments, but I wore these for hours in an environment with sound and I didn't notice it at all. So keep that in mind. It isn't perfect, but it is great at this price point. And lastly, let's check out the mics on the MPOW X6s. I'm going to have a bunch of cars coming at me here in just a few seconds, and that's going to give us a full test of the MPOW X6 hybrid active noise canceling earbuds. So far, my impression of these that this is a really early impression. I've listened to like 15, 20 songs with them. They sound fantastic. I love that so far. I love these super, super loud sound by. So we're going to get an excellent, excellent test of the microphones just from that one thing alone right there. Um, there's not really any wind at this moment in time, so this is fairly quiet. This guy's going out of his way to get really close to me, uh, and his drive-by actually looked like he was trying to hit me for some reason. <laughs> Go figure. And that's another good test. I'm going to run out of speaking time any minute on this phone call, and this phone call is going to abruptly cut off. So I'm just going to say that this was a really full test of the MPOW X6. All right, let me know in the comments where I should place the X6s in my mic series rankings. Now let's sum up the X6s here. The X6s are on sale at Amazon right now. They're $59, there's a $10 instant coupon that you can get, that's 49 bucks. I'll leave a link in the video description where you can you know, get these for 49 bucks for a earbud that would no doubt, no doubt, have cost at least $250 in 2019. Here are my favorite features for these earbuds in 2021. They're really comfortable. They have very low occlusion for an in-ear earbud in my opinion. They are already one of my favorite bass buds, with, but they also have those boosted mids and highs that I think make them a great overall listening experience. They're excellent for watching movies. Touch controls are excellent. And did I mention how cool these earbuds look with that gold detailing and that kind of cool microphone surround on the front of the earbuds? I think they just look really cool. On the con side, that low latency mode is a little bit slower than I'd like for gaming. And especially, you know, having a low latency mode, I would have expected just a little bit more from MPOW in this regard. Now the ANC, I will just reiterate, it wasn't perfect in really quiet situations, but it was excellent in loud situations. 
and maybe I'm just nitpicking a little bit here, but it is hard to get these buds out of the case. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone.